I'm back with another recipe video. Today I have three very easy, very simple caramel dessert recipes that you can even eat as a snack and that anyone can make at home. As always, all these recipes are vegan and I think a lot healthier than the caramel desserty snacks that you buy at the grocery stores. So I hope you really enjoy these recipes and let's get caramel dessert making. This is probably one of my favorite snacks ever to have, vegan caramel corn. Into a saucepan over medium heat, add in some maple syrup, coconut sugar, water, and coconut butter, and then stir it continuously. It's going to start bubbling pretty quickly and you want to keep stirring so that the bottom doesn't burn. Once it becomes very bubbly, quickly add in the vanilla and salt and then stir again for a minute. Then add in just a bit of baking soda and then stir just a few more seconds. It's going to foam up and become really bubbly and that's when you want to remove it off the heat. Grab your popcorn and then drizzle the caramel over and then toss it through. Spread the popcorn over a lined baking tray and then place that into the oven at 300 Fahrenheit for 5-8 to eight minutes keeping an eye on them especially during the last minute. They shouldn't really feel wet to the touch and that's how you'll kind of gauge if it's done or not. Allow the popcorn to cool for at least 5 minutes out of the oven and then you have yourself homemade caramel corn free of corn syrup and random food colorings. This is my go-to movie snack. It's so crunchy, sweet and salty and really fun to eat. Next up, we're going to be making some black sesame miso baked donuts. In a small bowl or measuring cup, mix together the soy milk, coconut sugar, and vanilla, and also some vegan yogurt. Then into a large mixing bowl, mix together the flour, almond flour, baking powder, and a touch of salt. Add in the wet mixture to the dry and then stir until you got a nice sticky batter. Place them into some donut molds and I was able to get exactly six. Then put that into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to make some caramel glaze. So I'm just combining some powdered sugar with some black sesame miso caramel, but you can just use any caramel of your choice. Add in around half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, or a little bit more of almond milk at a time and just until it's nice and smooth in consistency, but also not too runny. Once the donuts are out of the oven, let them cool and then you can start glazing them. I just did it by dipping each donut into the glaze, but you can also just drizzle it over. Then I top mine off with a little bit of black sesame seeds and yeah, these are so good and they're definitely not Krispy Kreme donuts, but they're still moist, cakey-ish, sweet, a little nutty, and a little salty. And lastly, we're going to be making these no-bake salted caramel bars. Into a food processor, add in the dates, cashews, hazelnuts, and coconut nectar. A little bit of vanilla and a little bit of salt and process until smooth. You might need to scrape down the sides a couple times to get it going and all smooth. Once it's nice and smooth and kind of looks something like this, add in some more hazelnuts and just give it a few more pulses. Press the mixture into a 23 by 23 centimeter tin and then place them into the freezer for around 30 minutes. Then they're basically ready and I just cut mine into 6 bars. These are so so good and they're basically these bars I tried a while ago. I can't remember the name or the brand but I couldn't find them in Canada so I tried to make them by myself and I pretty much got it spot on. They're so good. I also sometimes like to roll them in a little bit of Rice Krispies, which is also really good. They're kind of like crunchy and I eat like three of these a day. It's the perfect snack. So that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed these recipes and try them out. And if you do try them out, let me know how they went down in the comment section below. And tag me on Instagram. I love seeing all of your recreations. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content like this. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.